Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS. So we've got a question from William. Uh, William asks the following. He says, um, and this is a good one for all of us actually, it correlates battery voltage with battery capacity. So just bear with me as we go down this little journey together. Let's call it a rabbit hole. So this boater has a house battery. He's a sailboater, he's got a 36 foot sailboat, Catalina like mine. Uh, but at the end of the day, this applies to all of us. So he's got a battery bank of two 4D AGM batteries that are each about 200 amp hours, makes sense. So it's a 400 amp hour house battery bank, okay? Pretty standard, it could be four golf cart batteries. Most of us are gonna have a battery bank of that size or bigger. Uh, so at 8 p.m., he's uh, got 400 amp hours and his battery capacity is 100% and he's at 13.1 volts. So basically it just means that he's just disconnected a charger and it's called a surface voltage. A 12 volt battery can't be 13 volts, obviously, otherwise it'd be called a 13 volt battery. So it's just gonna creep down. As soon as loads are added, the battery voltage is gonna start going down to about 12, six to 12, eight, okay? And everything's at 100%. So overnight, he uses about 40 amp hours. Um, so in the morning, uh, he wakes up and with only 40 amp hours of battery use, so he went from 400 amp hours, right, down to only 360, so that's not even 10% discharge. He notices that his battery voltage is at 11.4, 11.7 and he's even seen 10.5. All right, now he asks, should my battery monitor be seeing about 12.8, 12.6, 12.5? Yeah, he's right. If you deplete your battery bank only 10% and you're not running large loads and you slowly discharge your battery bank, and this is important, you slowly discharge your battery bank like he did overnight, 40 amp hours overnight is basically like walking. After walking a mile, his battery bank that can go 400 amp hours and he's only used 40, so he's only used a tenth of the battery bank, should never be seeing 11.4, 11.7, or certainly not 10.5 under no big loads. So what does that tell us? Is it a problem with the battery monitor or a problem with the batteries? It's a problem with the batteries. The batteries are effectively, what he's found out by putting a battery monitor on his boat is that his batteries aren't giving him what he thought it would. And it's time to change the batteries. Either that, or he's got a bad crimp somewhere. Uh, but most likely it's the batteries. So sorry to share the bad news, William, but you're probably gonna have to replace your batteries. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please ask it below or use our contact form on our website. Support us to keep this channel ad-free. Happy to donate my time, because I'm a boater too, but help us offset the cost of doing these videos by donating via PayPal or potentially buying some of our merch on our store. And don't forget to subscribe uh, so that you can keep having these weekly and we're producing almost four videos a week now. And thanks again for watching.